Hi, this is Pony Prepper Bill, and this is the other touchy subject video I wanted to talk about. Uh, a couple of my videos, I don't know if, I don't mean to be, I don't mean to be doom and gloom or fear porn or anything like that. I just kind of state the facts of my opinion of what's going on in the world around us, in the news, what I see firsthand what I can't believe people actually believe is going on. But a couple of people have left comments, like last year, a couple of my videos, people left comments, a couple of the recent ones. And like I just said, I can't respond to some people for some reason or another, I can't get to the comments. I can read it, some of them I can read, some of them I can't, some of them I can respond to, some of them I can't. That being said, a couple of people have left comments I don't really want to put their name out there because I don't know if I don't want to upset anybody or give them I don't want anybody to feel bad but a couple people have left comments one or two people specifically certain comments are like uh, well you know just be one thing one good thing is we won't live forever uh, another one was they don't care about us, they don't care about what they're doing to us, anybody over a certain age, they don't care about us, they're trying to kill us, and they said just getting up in the morning is a burden, they can't stand the times, and they wish they were dead. Another person a couple months ago, eight months ago, maybe a year ago, commented that they're a single parent. Uh, they can't afford to prep, they don't know what to do, uh, they lost their job, they're working part-time doing something, they lost their house or apartment, uh, they were renting a room from a friend, and it's them and their kid, I think it was a woman, I'm not sure, I forget, but it's just her and her kid, she can't afford to prep, she can't afford to move, she can't afford to, you know, what do you say to a couple of these people? I mean, I try to be inspiring and tell people where to get help you know if you can go to your local even if you're not a church goer it, you know they have food banks you can go to in certain towns some churches if you go to a church they have a food pantry and they'll give you food some schools uh, some every town's different if, if you look and there's there are certain websites you can go to certain preppers have a website you can go to and meet local people in your area you know, your state, your area, your county, maybe you can find something to help you out. Meet like people that can help you. Um, I'm, I don't want to peep, I don't want people to be depressed and suicidal. We have enough of that already in the world. The stuff that's going on, people losing houses and I mean the CDC just came out with a, a new thing. I saw part of the video that my wife showed me. I'll make a video on that in the next couple of days. But the CDC even admitted that there's other things that are killing us way more important or more severe than this COV-19. But I don't want people to be all upset and think about suicide, especially if you got kids. You know, if you can go to the dollar store and just buy an extra can of can of beans, a can of soup, uh, anything anytime you can go to the store just if it's a can of peanut butter you know go to the dollar store you know buy a thing of peanut butter and jelly that's in a can and just put it have a little backpack or a carry bag or a little duffel bag you know or a big purse and just put some food some items in it in case shit does hit the fan soon you know you have a way to escape you know buy a couple extra diapers if you can you know Anything that'll help you get by in, 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 in the emergency. These clouds are weird. They're like triangles. Anyway, another thing. If you, ha if you know people, or if you've read my comments and you've read what these other people are saying, do you have anything inspiring for these people? You know, I, I told a couple people that, you know, hook up to the website or, you know, go to your local communities, go to a church and see if you can talk to a pastor or a priest to get help. Or if you're not into that thing, you know, somebody at work that you can get close to to help you out. You know, if you don't have, you know, real close friends or family around. Uh, 
I try to be inspiring. I know some of my videos might be, I go on rants and a rampage, like, how can you not see this? How can you not see what you're doing? And But that's easy for me to say right now because I'm living in a house and I didn't lose my job. I'm not homeless, but I've been homeless. Um, I've had ups and downs my whole life. You know, I was, I was making good money at one time when I was younger. I was single, didn't care. I had a shitload of money and within 20 minutes walked out of the building and the whole band was out of a job we had we were in los angeles and had no way to get home right in the middle of making an mtv video when mtv used to play music videos our tour support got dropped and we had to thumb it all the way home and it was me and two other guys on the crew we were actually living outside los angeles under an overpass two weeks prior i was making over a thousand dollars a week it was all going into my bank account. I had money in the bank, and when we got home, my roommate had lost his job and decided it was a good time to work on his truck. So he blew all my money. So not only did I, he didn't, and he didn't pay the rent. So not only did I lose my job, lost my money, I had nowhere to live at the same time. So, I mean, shit happens to people all the time. So I've been there, I've done it, I've lived it more than once. But right now, I have a house, I'm married, we have a family. But all that could happen tomorrow. I mean, we could be on our way home and the power goes out for a year and a half. Again, that could sound doom and gloom, but that's just the reality of the way things are going. And the news, if you're looking, if we don't have TV, regular TV news, so I don't know what they're saying. But on certain YouTube channels and news feeds, they're talking about the United States and Russia and all these other countries are fighting and nuclear war is possible. And who knows what could happen? Not that long ago, I mean, they were talking, the president and the, the White House were telling the people in the government to prepare for an EMP and a power outage for over a year. Six months to a year, I think it was. Does anybody remember that video I made? Does anybody remember other people talking about the blackout? Uh, everybody thought it was going to happen in 2020. Well, now this is 2021. Agenda 21. Uh, event 201. All, all, everything is coming to a head. And, I mean, yeah, we all need to keep preparing. But if there's people... Reach out to your other friends and family, even if they're not on board with what's going on. Just keep an eye on people and make sure that they're not secretly overwhelmed with what's going on. And if you're telling people, like, oh, did you hear this? Did you hear what's going on? Maybe they're not responding to you. They think you're crazy. But maybe when you leave the room, they're actually panicking and getting upset. Uh, we know a couple of people like that. They think we're nuts. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. But when you hear them talking, they are concerned and they are overwhelmed with what's going on. They're not sure what's going to happen the way this world's going. So I hate to be doom and gloom. I try to be truthful. I try to get the facts before I, I post a video. I mean, I try to do my own research. I'm not like, oh, well, so-and-so said this. I watched a video and this is what's going to happen. I want to know where he got the information. I will go on the internet, I will research myself before I post a video. And I try to put the links for you to do the same thing. Uh, so yeah, if you have anything to say to people in the comments on lifting their spirits, things... It bothers me that people say things are going to go back to normal, or this is the new normal. I personally don't believe either one of them. I think this is the best it's going to be. I think things are going to get worse, my opinion. It might get better in the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, things might get better. We're going to open things up. The movie theaters are going to start to open up. But I think shit's about to happen and it's going to be worse than this is. My opinion, no doom and gloom intended here. But I just want people to go outside, enjoy yourself on the way to the store to pick up some some supplies.
Uh, try to be uplifting and lift people's spirits if they get down the dumps. Talk to people, talk to your family. And talk to people you know, in the comments. If you have anything to say to me, what I can say to people to, you know, a couple people left comments like, just living, getting up in the morning is a burden. They want to die. Other people are just like, I can't take this anymore. I don't care if there's an EMP. I don't care. I hope, I hope we get nuked. You know, I hope the pandemic kills everybody on the earth. That's what some people have said. So that's what I got for now in this video. I don't want to name anybody and, but I'm trying to be uplifting, but I don't want every video to be happy and I mean, I'll do a video on gardening. I'll do a video. I want to make some more pickled eggs. Make, maybe I'll make a video on that. Now we're still looking at property. Um, Kentucky, West Virginia, Tennessee, I forget, and uh, Missouri. That's kind of where we're looking at right now. Certain states, uh, the main thing is a couple of the states right now are not going to go along with the government, with the gun control and all that. They're not going to force it. That's what we're looking at. That, and we want to be away from the city and the major towns. A little town, we're good with, but we don't want to be near a Walmart or a super center or a giant complex, you know, with all the stores, Target and Dick's Sporting Goods. And we want that to be at least an hour, 45 minutes to an hour away. Groceries, something close, a little coffee shop or a little grocery uh, general store close by that's fine so if anybody's got anything for that good place to go county town let me know this is Pony prepper bill and i'll talk to you later